VTR 2498, stroke 78, pal. Come back, Lucy, episode 5, part 1, take 1. looks frightened. What have you been doing? Nothing. Lucy, my love. Lucy! What was that? Uh, uh, only someone calling me from downstairs. I I'll go and see what they want. Lucy! 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 Good Lord, deliver us. Here when you want to get, get away from us, which is always. Please come downstairs. The right way. Rubbish. She's not that daft. Sometimes I wonder. Oh, if only she'd try to get on. Sometimes I think she thinks anything would be better than staying with us. Anything? I think we ought to tell Pete and Gwen. She's absolutely miserable, I'm sure of it. Well, at least then they can't say we kept anything from them. Come on. Somebody a wonderful wife one of these days. What's wrong with that? Wrong? Absolutely nothing. You're the answer to my husband's dreams. Feeling all right? Hmm? I expect you want a career, though, aren't you? Everybody has one these days. Tolly, then I didn't think of those kind of things. Oh, Lucy, you must use your talents for other things than just I. 
There are so many things that everyone can do. Well, where's the screwdriver? Come to think of it, time begins soon, doesn't it? We haven't made any definite plans about your school yet. School? Yuck. Oh, Gwen, do I have to go to school? Certainly. Patrick and Rachel's, if you're here with us. If. Yeah, well, that's something we should all have to decide, isn't it? We do hope you'll stay in the family where you belong. But you don't belong, do you? They don't think I belong. What? Your children. Oh, well, you're not a very easy person to get to know. But I... I think they are fond of you. They're just worried. Because they don't think you're happy. And neither do I. Run away. Yeah, well, there are all sorts of running aways, <laughs> aren't there? I mean, have you ever thought that not facing up to things is a sort of running away, too? There. I'll hear them. Yeah. I mean, just like I'm not very good at ironing and cooking and Christmas decorations, you're not very good at looking ahead, are you? Hmm? You've got your whole life ahead of you, Lucy. Very exciting. You've got to look forward and, and think about what you're going to do with it. Everybody has to. And then maybe we'll all understand each other a bit better. Please, Aunt Gwen, I don't want to talk about it. Are you ready for the party? to my party instead of theirs. And I see you've got the dress I chose all ready for it. When for the dresses? Aunt Gwen is very good at having ideas put into her head. You will come, won't you? We've got a real tree with candles and we shall play games, the kind you like. And we shall have a lovely supper and presents with ices and punch and... No! Talking to yourself again? I say, thanks for earning my dress. Yours looks made for you. Oh, do try to cheer up and enjoy yourself tonight. You will, you know. Don't you like parties? Some. People start arriving about eight, and you'll really like them. And you won't, won't... Run away again? No, I didn't mean that. And spoil your party for you, of course. Because then you'd get into more trouble, wouldn't you? How very vexing for you. That's why you want me to stay. No, Lucy. I only wanted you to promise for your own good. I'm not making any promises. And want must be your master. Oh. Well done. saying that she is planning to go. Just that, well, she wouldn't promise not to. Yeah, well, thanks for the tip, kid. But don't let it spoil your party for you, will you? Hmm? Peter, listen. I don't see why I have to do this. I mean, the kids don't fetch drinks for my parties, do they? Oh, don't tell me. There's been another breakout from cold. It's... No, all present and accounted for so far. Uh, but Rachel does have her doubts. Well, that makes two of us. I sometimes have my doubts about Rachel. Well, Lucy's not exactly giving the impression she wants to stay with us, is she? Well... Hi. 
How's it going? Oh, not bad at all, you. I've got oh, some brilliant that. records. Oh, good, huh? Oh, he's got his stranglers. Yeah, here. <laughs> Get off! Oh, oh, that's really good, man. Who's going to be at the party? Bill, put those down. Anyway, who's going to be at the party? No, Put them down, Bill. Who else? Oh, loads of people are going to be in this house. Any girls? Yes, that's Harry. Harry. Oh, oh, Lucy! Lucy, come on, over here. <laughs> Meet Mike. Hello. Lucy's our cousin. Yeah, she's staying here for holidays. Terrific, so you don't come from around here then? No. Where's your school? Oh, you can talk about that later. Look, there's Marion. Marion, come meet our cousin Lucy. Hello. Fantastic dress. Where'd you get it from? Oh, don't tell them. Oh, yeah, it really is. Build the lights. Right. Right, let's get the show on the road. <laughs> Come on, Lucy, let's get it on. Somewhere about. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you must stop doing that and sort of start enjoying yourselves. Oh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, I'm not far. Well, she kind of got far this time. You see, we had a full house. I locked both doors. I... Oh. Would that have stopped her? Well, no. It might make her think twice about what she's doing. Anyway, I think she does it, you know, just to draw attention to herself. She must be feeling terribly left out of things. Mm. <laughs> One, two, Peter. three, voila! Come on, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Lucy's going to come and live with me soon. Now, Alice, you know that's not <laughs> true. But it is. I've planned it all. <laughs> You see, she's not happy where she's staying. Go on your porch, go on your mouth. I told you I can't be in two places at once. Yes, I thought of that. I think I want to go back now. You can't go now. Nobody goes before supper. Um, Zell, can we have supper now, please? Supper? Oh, yes. I think yes. We are ready? Yes, yes, yes Mr. Zell. All right. Now we shall have the grand march. Oh. Once oh. round the room and we march to the supper, yes? yes? Take the partners, please. I want to be Lucy's partner. No, no, you should have the boy for the partner. Oh, but I want Lucy. All right, okay. all right, all right, mes enfants. Are we ready? Good. Music. It 
Time to the music, please. Keep the circle nice and neat. Making sure you're all still alive. You may well ask when you use the boys' the furniture. Don't be so important. It's like that stuff they shove on salads. Well, do you see the letter about the way we dress at school? No. Never mind that. You just wait until you see what the school's done to School. 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 Brain. You were right, Alice. Of course I was, you silly goose. I can't think why ever you went off like that and missed the most lovely supper. Alice, Lucy, come and sit down, please. We're going to have quiet games now. Sit down and I will give you a paper each and a pencil. Okay, thank you. For you and for you. Thank you. All right, everybody? Yes. Good. And now we shall make the list and write down a mountain, a flower and a girl's name. And the letter is L. Oh. Wow. <sighs> Lovely party. So I don't worry about it. She was in the kitchen. Really? Yes, having dip with the rest of them. Large as life. This is natural. Well, I wouldn't say that. Where could she have been? We searched everywhere. I don't know. Then let's worry about it. We're getting paranoid. <sighs> Besides, what possible reason could she have for leaving us? I mean, look at all she's got here. I mean, the African heads and, oh, two beautiful guardians. Swiss dip. Yes, who is that, of course? Yeah. Then there, I mean, she's probably found some secret hiding place. A little hidey hole. So then let's root it out, because everyone needs a hiding place. Lovely. I said it would. And best of all, we can talk about it in bed. Bed? Of course, it's nearly midnight. But I'm not staying with you. You are. I've planned it all, Mademoiselle. For those at the fire now. Alice, I'm, I'm not staying the night. I'm going home. This is your home. No, it isn't. It's yours. Ours. You're going to come and live with me now forever and ever. No, I'm not. You know I always get my own way if I want it badly enough. And stop looking around. You're to listen to me, I say. Alice, Lucy, for the coucher. Come to bed, please. No, I won't. Not a word. You can't make me. She's gone off again. She's gone off. Well, only for a breather. She'll be back in a minute. Not this time! She went off into the 
Oh, she must have been. No. You stupid girl. Why? She took it away. Only for sure she's nowhere in the house. I'm sure you got in or out my window somewhere. I don't know. But we've got to check. Look, Bill, do you realise if she really has to been there, she's just got to go. Where? Oh, to a home orphanage. There's nowhere else. No, come on, find me. I'll take the downstairs. Okay. Excuse me. Lucy! Lucy! Mira! You're going to stay. Say something. Can't make me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I'm looking for Lucy. It's very, very important. Lucy? 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 Bill. The conservatory. Ceiling and walls, all glass. Why, why couldn't you just drink straight from the bottle? I'm not here. Oh, my why? goodness me. Bill. Bill. Yeah. You've got to tell them now. <laughs> They've used at least three glasses each. Oh. Okay, darling. Oh, hello, Lucy. Where did you spring from? I'm sorry. I didn't know you'd started. <laughs> my goodness, you look as though you've been running. Where have you been? Are you all right, Lucy? It's all right, don't worry. Okay. It's all right. Darling. Is she coming round? No. 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 Hold on to a project. Come on, let's sit down. Take a glass out of the bottle. 